Please welcome to the blue corner, Albert Gonzalez. Got a nice show down here in the welterweight division. Two really tough guys. Albert Gonzalez, 3-3, three three, making his Fury FC debut. Yeah, three wins. Um, you know, three wins. I can't even read my own <laughs> So his three wins were, were against people with sub-500 records. His three losses, or, or three wins were, yeah, against people with sub-500 records. His three losses were people with above 500 records. So has a little bit of a difficult time with people who win records. Uh, but he was 6-2 as an amateur, and that trend kind of caught the same as an amateur. Uh, you know, the two, the two losses that he had were against guys that had, you know, winning records. But... You know, at six foot four, he has a lot to deal with. Six four, 170 pounds, carries a lot of muscle, very, very strong. So, you know, hasn't done particularly well against fighters with a winning record. You know, and Justin Creighton has a winning record of a four and two. So, I don't know if that's something that gets in people's minds or if it's something that, you know, it's just, it's just proving that the fighters who win a lot are just, you know, he just doesn't do well. Maybe the skill level's not there, but we'll see. We also have the best tail there. I don't know if you saw that at the weigh-ins yesterday. There I couldn't it is. tell that's what it was. Beautiful. Yeah, I couldn't that's tell beautiful. what it was. Look at, Look at that. It's a hundred dollars when you show up uh, next to them with one of those. I will, absolutely. Let's meet his opponent. Here's Wayne Leggett. Jefferson Creighton. Alright, hold you to it. Oh, a little fresh prints to get yeah. going. Jefferson Creighton. I like it. Yeah, I wonder what that's about. He's from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Maybe just uh, pay some respect to California. Yeah, maybe yeah. so. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, there he is. Joe Daddy Stevenson there in his corner. He does go by Jazzy Jeff. Oh, yeah, Jazzy Jeff. Jazzy Jeff, so there it is. Yeah, that's it. But you don't want to be Jazzy, you don't want to be Jazzy Jeff with this thing because he's the one who gets thrown out. Yeah. In the show a lot. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Albert Gonzalez is interesting. Uh, no gym affiliation for him. Yeah, and as I see Joe Stevenson in his corner there, so he is training in California. Our tail of the tape for this welterweight bout brought to you by Howard Head Whiskey. The height advantage for Albert Gonzalez, the reach advantage as well. For the 29-year-old, both fighters did make weight. Jefferson Creighton. In the red gloves there, you see him. Let's go inside to Wayne for our introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by Herb and Joy is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury FC Welterweight Division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist is six feet four inches tall and he weighed in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Fresno, California, he holds a professional record of three wins. Three losses. This is Big Al. Albert Gonzalez. And introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. And he too weighed in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Jacksonville, North Carolina. He holds a professional record of four wins. Two losses. This is Chazzy Jeff. Creighton! Your referee in charge of the action, Rafael Davis. All right, Rafael Davis. Final instructions for Albert Gonzalez, Jefferson Creighton. I will say this, if Albert Gonzalez wins his fight via finish, we will all come with the Albert Gonzalez tail for our next broadcast. It might be fake, but we'll come with it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, That's a unfortunately, at this yeah. point in my life, I'm not able to grow hair in that spot. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get to, we'll get to fake hair. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, both guys coming out on fire here. A lot of energy from both fighters. Big overhand left there from Jeff Creighton. Yeah, you, see, you see the kicks there from Albert Gonzalez. He doesn't get his hips turned on those kicks. So a lot of those kicks are, you know, you see him glance off. It's because he's, 
He's kind of throwing them up, and they're kind of glancing and staying up. He needs to turn those hips over, get those kicks where they're digging into the body. Because he landed well on it, it was just the, the technique on it wasn't, wasn't great. Yeah, good knees from Clay for Albert Gonzalez. Yeah, you can see on the break there, Jeff Clay did not like those knees. He can have five or six up here ribs. Nice big left hand and overhand right attempt. Just missed. Albert Gonzalez, mainstay, Fresno MMA scene, also runs King Me Apparel. Shout out to him. Love the entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, of course. He's always posted up outside of events. A nice job there from Jeff Creighton. And you're right, even at 6'4", he packed on some good muscle to Albert Gonzalez. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard to believe he can make welterweight. He's a huge welterweight, 6'4". Nice, nice knees there from Albert Gonzalez. And that, you know, that's one of the advantages of being the taller fighter is you're trying to fight the, that tie punch. Move your hands up, those knees are in a perfect position to land on that rib cage. And you know, all it takes is one of those knees to deliver or to that floating rib. Makes it very, very difficult to breathe on the you're supposed to get the liver, you're hitting the deck. That's a loaded up shot there from Jefferson Creighton. Yeah, Creighton keeps hitting that overhand left. And it's landing, and you can see it's marking up the face of Alvin Gonzalez, but it's not changing his trajectory at all. Still moving forward, still coming into the pocket. Fights with his hands down just a little bit. I like to see him get those hands up just a little bit. Just going back and watching some of Jefferson's fights. He has a really smothered ground game, good wrestling. Hasn't showcased it yet in this fight. Something to watch out for as this fight continues. Yeah, he's got good submissions. I mean, he's, he's got a few submission wins, so got good submissions. Uh, good cardio. He's not. He's not gonna. He's not gonna run out of gas here. Both fighters content with being in the center of the cage. One thirty left in round one. You see the big looping left hands from Albert Gonzalez. He's a tight that up just a little bit. Get those punches in a little bit closer to the body. You're long, man. You're 6'4". You've got long limbs. You keep those in close to the body. Fire those straight out from the pocket. Holster those hands. That looks like the... the in the first round, was you know starting to wear on um, Albert Gonzalez just a little bit. Craig just staying steady, punching pretty steady, keeping good pressure. You see Albert Gonzalez starting to slow down just a little bit. See his face is getting marked up pretty good. Nice left hand there by Jefferson Creighton. Yeah, good punches connected from Jefferson Creighton. Thirty under thirty seconds left. In our opening round. And for the shorter fighter with the you know the shorter arms, Craig's doing a better job of landing the jab and landing much, much better from the pocket. Better boxing. And you see that gas tank emptied out for Albert Gonzalez in round one. And nice counter punching here from Jeff Craven. Finishes the round, a little combination there. You can see how he's all a little bit tired there. What is a story tale, right? Very historic tale. Round one highlights. So the work was against the cage to start off the round. Yeah, he's going to take that attempt there, but, uh, you know, Albert Gonzalez is getting very, very tall, getting very long, making that distance too, too far to reach there for that double leg, try to switch to a body lock, and Albert Gonzalez did a good job of foiling it, but then steadily as the round went on, Jefferson Craig just kept on peppering 
uh, Howard Gonzalez and landing that jab, landing that hook, landing that jab. And you see just from the body language there, Howard Gonzalez with arms stretched wide out, trying to open up those lungs. Jeff Craig is still looking pretty fresh. As we were all watching the highlights, Jefferson Creighton, with about 20 seconds left in the break, was already standing ready to go back out to the center. And official Rafael Davis was like, oh, wait, wait, gotta slow it down. Yeah, can't get back in here. Kind of funny is the games these guys play with each other yeah. and what gets in their mind and what doesn't, you know. You're trying to look over, you're like, oh my God, I'm tired. You look over to your opponent, he's standing there bouncing around with his hands in the air, and you're like, oh God. It's happened to all of us. Just past midnight for our East Coast viewers. The rare Fury after dark. Yeah, luckily on a Friday night, so no yeah. school, no work tomorrow for most of us. I believe all FCC regulations stop after midnight Eastern Standard Time, so. Yeah, I'm about to start cussing or heel out. <laughs> <laughs> about to have a little fun here, man. Yeah. Fury after dark. Yeah, nice single leg takedown by Jeff Crane, and now, uh, you know, went to half guard first and now in the full mount. I like how he's taking his time here, but we've seen a lot of guys taking their time. Big elbow. So a lot of guys taking their time and you know allowing their opponents to move to breathe. And I'd like to see one of these guys get a finish here. Jeff Craig in a really good spot to do that with a little under four minutes left, already in the mouth in the second round. I just feel like again, if he would rain down some punches and start, you know, being aggressive in this finish, that he would get a finish here. Alex Gonzalez, oh, sorry, sorry to hear but Alex Gonzalez being a taller fighter, a longer fighter, sometimes that makes it a little more difficult to get out of the mount. You yeah. know, get those legs clear, it makes it a little more difficult. Especially how balanced Creighton is right now on him, not too high. The kids were in, big elbows raining down from the top. All Albert Gonzalez can do right now is hold on. Now he's got that wrist ride from his top side position. This is not good for Albert Gonzalez. Uh, he lost it. But undoubtedly he's going to go for it again. Ooh, that big elbow. Yeah, let's see Creighton throw some, you know, even some lighter punches in there and just stay active and just soften him up a little bit. He's trying to finish it with that one big shot. And, I mean, he, he can very well do that from this position. But so far, Albert Gonzalez is doing a good job of closing the space there and not giving him the space he needs. Multiple elbows landed there. And now. Yeah, here he goes on the back. Craig's got his back. He's got both hooks in. Can't tell if he's got it on the chin. Looks like he does. There it is. It's locked up. Come this fight get, is over. Come this on. fight is over. Is this the first finish we're going to have in the night? Look out, Jeff Creighton. Are you kidding me? He's surviving through this choke. Give wow. him a thumbs up. And, and there's the tap. There it is, our first tap of the night. Jefferson Creighton gets his fifth win as a professional. And we get a tap, Michael. We I get know. a tap. In the second round, in the fifth fight, we finally get we finally get a finish here. Jefferson Creighton dominated this fight through the whole fight where he'll, you know, even even at first with uh, you know coming through, you know, coming coming out. Immediately saw uh, Albert Gonzalez come out with a lot of fire in his stomach, but just Jefferson Creighton proved to be too much for him uh, on this night. Very dominant performance for Jazzy Jeff there. Round two highlights. Those elbows that were raining down from the mouth for Jefferson Creighton. Yeah, good. I mean, he, he took this position with about four minutes left in the round and, you know, finally finished it and just basically tortured Albert Gonzalez for the entire round until he was finally able to get that choke in, able to hide that choke hand, got that, that elbow underneath the chin, and that was lights out. But it looked like he was going to survive it. It looked like he wasn't jumping first. He's giving the referee a thumbs up, and he had it full on, full choke. 
I think he was trying to get Jeff Craig to let go, thinking it's not choking him. I'm telling you, the way this night has gone, I thought he was going to survive that. Yeah, it looked like it. But we got our first finish of the night. Congratulations to Jefferson Creighton. Getting a win in his Fury FC debut. Yeah, we're being reminded there are several fighters on the Fury roster that don't use a stool, that don't sit down. Yep. We got Jose Johnson, we got Michael Aswell Jr. So a few other fighters that kind of use that stool as an intimidation factor. Jeff Creighton doing here tonight. Looks like it worked. All right, let's go to Wade to make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes two minutes, 57 seconds into round number two. Declaring your winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Jazzy Jeff Creighton. Jazzy Jeff with the big win. And thank you so much for joining us on UFC Fight Pass. By the way, did you know these Kalar brothers are back? Check it out. The nosebleeds available right here on UFC Fight Pass.